So Tyler, thank you very much for joining us in the Midweek Spotlight. It's an excellent time to have you in the Midweek Spotlight as you are announced as the Elite League Player of the Week. It's been a good week, hasn't it? Uh, yeah, it has. I think um, obviously it's a byproduct of our play um, as a team. So it's always nice to get recognized throughout the league. So I'm excited about it. Well, let me take you back. So it was all started with that midweek game against the Edinburgh Capitals. Obviously, their troubles are well documented at the moment, but it was important to get the right result to show that the team were were, were, were doing well at the moment, wasn't it? It was important to get, well, as many goals as possible, really. Yeah, I think it's kind of one of those games where we're kind of, obviously, we need to win every game we can right now. And it's kind of one of those tune-up games that we wanted to get our play going for the weekend. So, um, I think we played well, we continued our habits all the way through the weekend and obviously we were successful over the weekend as well. Five assists for yourself though, you were on fire that night, couldn't you get the <laughs> point for yourself though there, I think I chirped you yeah. at the end of the game there for that big miss, did yeah. you get much stick on the bench for that one? Uh, a little bit, but I lived up to my promise and I got the, I, got, I saved him for Saturday, so um, it was good, um, obviously you can't bury him all, so. No, that's true, like you said, and Saturday, what a huge game that was for the team, always difficult playing against the Belfast Giants, let alone at this time of the season uh, and away from home. Uh, a lot of work being done on the screen. Obviously, you got the, the, the goal there, like you said yourself. Is that something the team have been concentrating on? Some, some great power play goals as well. Yeah, it's nice to get our power play going for sure. Obviously, the power play can win and lose games in this day and age in the hockey world. So um, it's always a huge thing to get that going. And Obviously a massive game in Belfast to come out with two points there because not too many teams go in there and get two points out of that building with the travel and how long of a day it is. So um, obviously that was a huge confidence builder for us. It was an interesting start to the game, wasn't it? The, the clan were kept in the tunnel while the Giants paraded their trophy. Did that have any effect on the psyche? Was it better that you were in the tunnel rather than being out in the ice waiting? Uh, yeah, I mean, I think we were even in the locker room. I don't even know what was going on out there. So uh, they can parade their trophy all they want because uh, I mean we want to get that playoff trophy too so that's what we're concentrated on um, so congrats to them but we had, we had our own focus. Yeah the team really started to click as well grew grew in confidence throughout that game I think it was fair to say not actually the best of starts but Belfast seemed to come out of the, the blocks pretty pretty hard and pretty quick early didn't they? Yeah I think that's their staple I mean they know that we've t we were up at 7 30 took the ferry at 11 30 we're at the rink for five hours before the game so you can kind of get a little lethargic um, obviously surviving the first period Ryan and I was absolutely huge for us kept us in the game and then it kind of just spiraled from there we got a couple power play goals and end result was good what do you remember about your own goal my own goal which one which one are you talking yeah well which ones what do you remember about oh, your goals there um I mean, my, my one was just a bang in from in front of the net uh, on the power play, so uh, not much to that one. And the other one was just a, I don't know, I think I heard someone before the face-off goal, if, if someone's got a chance at the empty net or let's go for it. So um, I kind of just spun around. The nets never move, so uh, <laughs> kind of knew where it was, and then it, lucky enough it went in. It was a fantastic grandstand finish to the game, a really tense game with all the penalties towards the end there. But another great travelling support. It must have been fantastic to see the, to see the fans travelling over there and, and being loud in a rink like that for you. Yeah, to have three busloads of fans to go over to Belfast, I think that just shows how good a support we do have here in Brayhead for, for this hockey team. So... Um, Anytime you can go to an away building and you can hear your fans overpowering or cheering just as loud as the other fans' teams, it's obviously a nice boost to us. Then obviously the team must be in great spirits coming into that game on Sunday against the Manchester Storm. Obviously you know the history around this fixture in recent times with the clan's former coach being there, a couple of former players as well. There was a lot of chit-chat going on on the ice. Am I right in saying that? Yeah, I think it was... Uh, I think that's just a playoff type mentality game. They're pushing to get first place, obviously still. We're pushing to get into the playoffs. Um, so I think it just brought out a, I think it was a good hockey game. I think there was some some good play, obviously, and it was intense. And uh, it kind of felt like a little bit back home. So uh, I loved it. It was a great atmosphere in the rink as well. I think the fans responded to that rough and tumble style game. That really suits your style of play as well, doesn't it? Did you feel that atmosphere in the rink? Do you think the players were appreciating that kind of atmosphere? Yeah, definitely. I think, um, obviously, I'm sure that the fans and stuff know about Finnerty, I guess, leaving last year, and they want to beat him, and he probably wants to beat us. 
Um, so I think that brings a healthy rivalry and that brings out the best in both teams. Do you really vibe off that yourself, Tyler? Is that something that you feel you get a little bit extra juice out of? Yeah, I love it, especially on a Sunday when we had travel <laughs> coming home. Um, to get up and just know that you're going to be in a game and an intense game is always, it's always fun. That's what we play the game for and we're all competitive people here. So um, that's what we live to do. Well, it's great to be competitive at this time of the season, obviously in the team scene with the opposite. It seems like there's a really good atmosphere. Uh, just a little bit of time off though during the week for the Kids Awards night uh, that you were all there at. Was that, did you have a good time in chatting with all the young clan fans who seemed really excited from, the, from what I saw? <laughs> Yeah, I mean, it's always good to get out with the kids. It's always easy, and they're always excited, so that's good. Yeah, we had Monday, Tuesday off. I think we are on the ice seven days last week, so it was nice to get a couple of days off here and uh, get ready for Milton Keynes in Edinburgh on the weekend. Did you get any advice from the young kids at all, or they're maybe a little bit more... Uh, easy to please at events like this than, <laughs> than the random fan that you yeah, would get, they, than your average fan. They kind of, I think they want their autographs and their pictures and they're pretty easy going. So uh, it was a pretty easy night and it was a good night. Well, it all builds up then, of course, to yet another important game. They're all so important now. Every game feels like it is absolutely must win. Milton Keynes coming into the building and it's a particularly special night. Again, it's going to be a, a fundraiser for one of the clan's official charities, uh, Beatson. Uh, what are you expecting from this night? Firstly, what are you expecting from Milton Keynes? I think they're going to come in here and play hard. Um, everybody on every team right now is playing for jobs next year, whether it be in this league or wherever they want to go play. So all guys have all the guys have pride, and I know that that team over there has pride. So they're going to come in here and work hard, and they're going to try to beat us. So we need to be ready. Um, obviously, we haven't seen them in a little bit here. So from- and since that time, there's been a change of coach. Well, Pete Russell is still in position, the, the, the GB coach, but it has been announced that his replacement is coming in and in the country. Do you feel like that could have any impact on the way that the players play? What would that do to, to a dressing room that you were in? I don't know. I've been in that kind of situation before where you're in and out of coaches and it's obviously tough because one coach has a different mentality than the other coach. So you're kind of caught in between and stuff like that. So um, I'm sure that there's a little bit of I don't know if, I mean, dysfunction, I don't know where, just not knowing what's going on. So, um, but those guys are playing for jobs, so I know that they'll come in here and play hard. And obviously, as I mentioned there, it's a special night, a charity fundraiser for the Beatson, uh, doing so much wonderful work for for cancer patients. Um, You've seen the jerseys, the jersey design yourself. What do you make of those? Uh, Yeah, I have seen them. They look really good. Um, I don't want to give anything away. You guys will have to... (laughs) come to the game and see them so um, no but they look uh, awesome and they look pretty sharp and, and finally tell as I said some great results recently against the Steelers uh, Belfast Giants great result against Edinburgh so close against the Manchester Storm there as well it really does feel like the team starts to come together at a good time how would you describe the atmosphere in the locker room now uh, I think the a- atmosphere is awesome I think that obviously we've had some pretty big games here down down the stretch here and I think that winning those games and winning those games against those teams in the upper echelon of the of the league has just brought us that much closer together and I think we've been really rolling as a team and uh, we're just ready for that playoff push and hopefully get in there in that eighth spot here. I think the fans feel that too and appreciate it. Thanks very much Tyler and congratulations on your player of the week. Perfect, thank you guys very much.